I knew about tech and about um, its reputation when I graduated for, with my PhD um, and was looking for jobs. Um, however, when I came here, what kind of really um, captured my interest was the quality of the faculty um, and the students in the department. And really, that's been what's kept me at Texas Tech um, since then. I think we have some of the best uh, faculty and the best students in, in the country. My main research focus is applying um, engineering methods and techniques to improving organizational productivity and reliability. In particular, I look at uh, ways organizations can more systematically design their improvement systems. So if we look at things like Lean and Six Sigma. I also look at how organizations can make better data-driven decisions by having better dashboards, organizational performance measurement uh, systems. And then one of my other major areas is looking at how you design organizational structures in a way to be more effective, especially for technical organizations. So I look at engineering teams and team performance in general. In terms of challenges, I think you know a lot of universities have the same challenges now. We're competing for um, the best students at both undergraduate and graduate levels. We want to be able to provide them um, with sufficient support for their, their studies here and, and incentives to come here if they have multiple offers. So when I think about, again, teaching classes or working with PhD students and graduate students, one of the things I really want to help them gain is really their confidence and love for engineering, that they develop really ability to say that this is something that I can do. Um, they learn a set of uh, critical thinking skills and analytical techniques. I think it's more of a mindset in terms of developing their problem-solving abilities and leadership abilities and, and really engineering as we know is a very broad field that can be applied in a lot of different application areas so just to be able to take the, what they learn in the classroom and then know how to apply it in contexts that are different than maybe even what they've seen. I hope that they can again become you know, innovative thinkers and, and leaders in their field that they've chosen. I do think one thing that is unique that we have here, of course, is the international experience requirement, which does you know, promote just a different outlook for our students that I think will help them be competitive. So I think it is something that is going to be even more important as we move forward, because I, I mean, we see how globally interconnected we are already. I think when we look at um, that in the future, it's only going to continue to be a um, more important skill for, for people, for the students to have. And I'm glad our students are going to be graduating with those skills.